Okay. God, I welcome back to this second episode of Bottom at Christmas, the Middlesbrough edition. Just decided that's what it's called right now. So we're at our first game, Crystal Palace at home. We will be playing. Let's get into the game. Get to the schedule. Crystal Palace and Tottenham today, both at home. Four home games in a row. So we've done some playing around. We've got a team. We've got a formation. So we've had to change some stuff around. So we've brought Fabio in at left back because we've got injuries to George Friend. We've scouted players to look for this left-hand position. We've got a couple of backup strikers on the bench. We don't know who's going to play well and who's going to play bad, to be honest. We're hoping, I mean, this as a defensive formation works enough. The fullbacks on automatic and we can tweak them in the game. And we're just going to have to play and see what happens. Gaston Ramirez, I feel like he should be on the bench, really. It's not great. The problem is he's not a great left back. He's more of a uh, left winger. He's more of a right winger. We don't really need right wingers right now. But is he better than... Oh, he's tired. We'll bring him in when Downing's... I like Stuart Downing. The old ex-hammer. <clears throat> Brad goes down 74%, but we're going to have to play him because we've got Victor Valdez injured and no other goalies, really. So the team we're going to go with, and I will get to know a lot more of these players in detail, as will you as we get along, is Brad Guzan in goal. Fabio at left back. <clears throat> Bernardo and Chambers in the middle. Barragan at the right back. They've then got Darun and Diara as our defensive midfielders, with Sims and Traore as wingers, with Negredo as a target man, and Stuani as an advanced forward on attack. So, we're hoping with hitting early crosses, they're going to hit the target man, he's going to lay it off to some people, we're going to score some goals, that's what we're looking for. But we have no idea how this tactic is going to go, the familiarity is obviously crap. So what are they, marking it awkward on, that's not good. Passing style competent, okay. So we might find it defensively a bit awkward. We're closing down more, put it on close down more because we've got six players defending essentially. We should be able to handle that. So let's get in. Let's get in and have a little look, see how we go. So they are lining up Palace with a four, what's that, five? A five, four, one. Well, they've gone defensive, which is good. It means they're a bit worried. We've also gone a bit defensive, but with our four against their five, that gives me a bit more, a bit more hope, I was about to say. Right, Ben Teki, we know we're going to have to watch out for, but let's just leave him for now. Let's see how the game pours out. Let's go passionately, this is for the fans. Oh no, yep, yeah, fans. Hoping my motivation that I've put into my manager will help us get through these situations and G the guys up, keep the morale. To be honest, the morale's pretty good at the moment, which is good to see. Did I hit start? Yes, I did. Start, and we're underway. First home game of this era. Let's see what happens. Whew. See how it all goes. So we'll be playing that, seeing how that long ball football goes. Maybe we should actually put the instruction straight away on to exploit the flanks. Because we have no players through the middle. As Palace come forward here. Oh! Takes a shot. That's a bit cheeky, isn't it? Wasn't expecting that one. So Palace here. Eight minutes in. Having the better. Our pass completed uh, is crap, but we'd expect that because we're playing long balls. Tackles one, good. Headers one. Keeping them to long shots, it appears at the moment, which is good to see. That's what we want. I just wonder if we need to tweak around. Okay, so yeah, big balls up to Negredo is what we're going for. Darun through to Negredo. Oh, he has a chance. That was close. We've had two shots, one on target, one off target. One clear cut chance, one half chance. So Palace are having shots, but all five shots have been for long range. This is good. Let's see if the guys can warm up now. Benteke's got the ball. He's got six men to beat, though. Scott Dan. Townsend. He's cutting inside. We should be able to cut him out. He's gone all the way across. Taking a wild shot. So we're not playing too well. Four shots. I wonder if I'll switch it on to extended for a bit so we can have a look at what's going on with the stats. Pass completed 63%. Okay. So looking nervous. That's fine. We can go for a calm. Happy we perform it so far. Keep it up. There we go. We need to get him used to this formation as well. One thing we've got to watch out for. So Fabio, big ball up. That was crap. Maybe we do need to watch this passing. Especially against these teams where they're not going to come at us actually. So let's go for a more mixed passing. See if that helps. I really want these wingers to drop in and come back and pick up the ball, really. Oh, 
we've missed that header there. Townsend is through. He's had the shot and Guzan's made the save. Shouldn't be scoring from outside the area though. Chambers clears. Right, can we go and clear it out? Scott Dan. Right. Players aren't playing well, but that could just be they're not used to the formation. Corner coming in from Triore here. Oh, a set piece would be nice. What's the grader doing outside the box? He's a bloody target man. Last plays out to Troyore. Troyore and Bernardo gets the goal. We are 1 0 up in our first game. Come on! Adam Troyore. So, ball comes into Lass here. He plays it back out to Troyore. Puts a ball in across the front of the box. And Bernardo, the centre back, scores the first goal of our managerial career here at Middlesbrough. We're pretty happy with that. Striker's not having a good time at the moment. They've gone attacking. Crystal Palace. Big Sam, a big fan of changing his tactic. Within Football Manager. Right, eight minutes. I don't really want to make any subs. Maybe I should. Fabio's got the ball here. Into the Grado. Back out to Fabio. Oh, he's not done a good job there. Darun cuts the ball out. Into Bernardo. Lass, Darun. Out to Barragan. Can he come forward? He's played a good ball out to Triore. Triore, can he put a good ball in? He can. Negredo gets there. 2 0. Oh, this is perfect start. This is what we wanted to see. With 10 minutes or 9 minutes left to go, Triore again hitting that byline. Great ball across. And look at Negredo. He wanted that one, didn't he? He wanted it. Okay. One minute left to go. I think I made the right decision not bringing anybody off right there. Triori again. Puts another ball in. Oh, Stolani with a header. Mandanda makes a save. That's got to be it. Bernardo, look at him go. Out to Triori again. Triori is going to be the main man for this team, I think, as he runs the ball off. He's, and there we go. At the Riverside Stadium, Middlesbrough 2, Crystal Palace nil. A good, solid win. Passionately, well done, boys. So... That just keeps us on point. 14 points after 19 games. We're so close to getting out though. Well done, the boys. So we have got Bernardo impresses one goal. Played very well. Tottenham games in five days. I won't let you I won't make you watch. Although it will be a full playthrough, it'll be every game of the second half of the season. But it won't be all the boring bits in between. It'll just be two games in the episode and we'll fly through. So I shall see you in five days for the Tottenham game. Okay, here we are for the Tottenham game. Apparently, Barragan is suspended, which is good. No right back. And Triore got injured and is out for two weeks. This is just what we wanted. Valdez is now also properly injured, so can't play. All is going very well. Right, let's put Cam Chambers in. What I have decided is I will put these fullbacks onto support so they get forward and help. Because we were playing just long balls that weren't really working. Let's go to a mixed passing scheme. We'll still hit the balls early. Still play slightly deeper. Daniel Ayala will come in then at centre back. Who have we got? Oh, who do we say? What was his name? Gaston Ramirez. Gaston! Reminds me of Beauty and the Beast. If that isn't too uncool to say on YouTube, I think it probably is. Right, Victor Fischer is an attacking midfielder left inside forward, so he can. Oh god. Well, let's just put some players in. <laughs> Grant Ledbetter. Adam Forshaw. This dude wanted some games as well, didn't he? Well, right, let's just put him on. Let's put him in. Doesn't hurt. Take some more players with us. Grant Ledbetter can go in as well. Okay. So we're going to stick with the same formation. I don't want to play too many changes really I want to stick with the same guys I want to kind of stick with the same formation get him used to playing it go for the kind of home and away formation but we'll see Tottenham are fifth at the moment they could come and smash us if they do we might drop put a central midfielder on maybe whack these on to defend this is going to be a learning game but if we can get the familiar familiarity up on this one formation quickly that would be helpful so we're going to go with this Bolshe as ever in we go. Tottenham sitting sixth currently. We are sitting rock bottom still. We want to win every match. 
So we know Harry Kane's going to be a problem. He causes us issues in the West Ham save all the time. So let's close down these wing backs because we know they're going to get forward. And close down. I mean, what do we do? Let's tight mark Harry Kane. And let's close down Ericsson. And let's see how that goes. Pick up where you left off. Game is on the way at the Riverside Stadium. So we should be closing these boys down, not giving them much time on the ball. There we go. Straight in. Son, Ericsson, although they are still coming forward. And again, great tackle in there by Diara. Stuani here. Can he put puts in Negredo? Negredo plays out to Fabio. Fabio getting forward just as I want him to do. Not a great ball in, but that's much better play there. And a defensive midfield is then covering for those wing backs. That might be a nice little addition to the tactic. Lamella here cuts inside. Diara goes to make the tackle. But no, not required. Lass and Diara's picked up a card. As we come back, Kane. Oh, Kane's just hit the crossbar. He's a bastard, isn't he? Big bite to Negredo. Can we count it here? Stuani. He's got man in front of him. He's going to put ball in. Oh, he has, but we didn't go for it. Lloris collects. Oh, that should have been. That was a chance there, I think. Right, Guzan clears. Can Negredo win this? He can't. Fabio does pick up the second ball, though. He plays in the Grado. Uses Diara. Diara comes forward. Gaston. Gaston takes a shot from range. Oh, he's never going to beat Lloris from there, really, is he? Okay, Stuani not playing well. Oh, corner in here. We've managed to clear. Sims picks up the ball. Plays on to Gaston. Right, can he hold it up? Oh, he's gone round one. He's one and one. And we scored. Gaston has scored. Oh, my God. We're one up against Tottenham. We've moved up to 19th place. Oh, I kind of want to... Maybe we should bring the league table up somewhere as well so we can see that. Hold on, I know my head sits in this bottom corner. Gaston there. Doesn't muck around. Let's put the... There we go. Right down here in this bottom corner. And we've made it to half time. 1-0. Right, how do we stop? Right, assertively. I'm going to go for the don't, go, don't get complacent because the morale's quite good. Only Ramirez had a problem there. I can't do an individual talk on him though because that will ruin the rest of the team. So let's get into the second half. Hopefully, oh no, I put my head. Where do I put my head? I've forgotten. I put my head in the bottom left corner, don't I? What Wally? So we've got the league table up there. As you can see, we are in 19th position. This will take us up if we carry on and beat Tottenham here. One point off the bottom. Joint on points. Oh, 18th because Burnley must be losing. That's good. I shouldn't look at that. That's dist dist distracting me. Negredo's tired here. Lass and Diara's tired as well. Maybe she'll look to make some subs as Deli Alley comes forward here. Oh, long shot. He's hit the post. Right, 10 minutes left. Let's switch it up then. Let's put on Bamford. And we'll put him on as a poacher. And then Diara. He's playing very well. Do I bring on someone like Clayton? Doesn't look very good, does he? Box box. Ball winning midfielder. Grant Ledbetter. To shore up. Let's bring him on for the rune actually. Because the R is playing too good. But we just need some legs in that those guys that are closing down are gonna get tired. So gotta watch out. Like we will need some depth if I'm gonna carry on playing at high tempo. Hopefully this will just this eats away. We've got to 90 minutes. Ericsson comes forward, Kane's on the ball, Chambers takes him out of the game. Gaston. Diara. And that's it! We've won! <laughs> Second game in charge. Second win. We've beaten Tottenham. That was a good performance. Passionately and proudly performance out there, boys. And we are 19th position. Joint points with Southampton. That's Palace have leapfrogged out. Still very tight at the bottom here. But we are off the bottom. Hole go below us. So we record two back-to-back -back victories. And we take points from the Tottenham scum. I know it's not a West Ham save, but it still counts. Loving it. <laughs> one over on Portuccini. <laughs> Player of the match, Gaston Ramirez. Gaston on the flamboyant attacking midfielder comes in. So, I shall see you in two, well, it'll be in two days, but the next episode will be Watford, and then we've got Oldham in the FA Cup, and we need to decide whether we throw the FA Cup because we want to concentrate on the league. So I'd rather keep the, the semi-final, the EFL Cup, going. Oldham, we can play a rotated team. Maybe we'll try some of these other players out in different positions. Give them a rest, because look at that. The, the run of games, although we're into Jan now, so it should even out a bit. It's going to be pretty hectic. 
But we will leave it there. If you have enjoyed this episode, please do smash that like button. If you are new to the channel, please do subscribe. Go and check out the other content. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for some more Bottom at Christmas Borough edition of this Football Manager Short Challenge series. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.